Euro 2008 may be a pretty exciting time, but it seems not only for humans, because there's a whole parallel contest going on, the Eurobi 2008. In the robot world, you don't get much more prestigious than these, the Eurobi trophies. Austria may have been knocked out of the real contest pretty early on, but their robotic compatriots showed far more promise, making it into the Eurobi finals. Their Leonding micros faced Slovenia's Ljubljana Dragons. It was a pretty serious affair, with scientists even standing for an emotional rendition of the national anthem. Martin Hernzig organised the contest. This European Championship, the Robotic European Championship, allows Austria to bring in two teams. <laughs> so uh, the expectations are really high to make one gold medal. Uh, and this, uh, compared to the other one, to the bigger one, uh, we, d we didn't have a bit of a chance. <laughs> in the end, the Dragons proved too fierce, inflicting a humiliating 9-1 defeat. Guido Bugman explains exactly how robot football works. We have a camera here which, which looks at the pitch, at the ball, the goal post, and the computer makes the, the, the decision, so this robot is completely autonomous. In fact, the robot is so autonomous that humans are completely irrelevant here. Well, almost. The plan is to have uh, human players against robots in 2050. So, at present, we are, we are just progressively developing the technology and uh, having small tests like gold cakes, like running and slowly we put all, all together to, to make a team. But before these little guys take on the likes of Beckham and Ronaldo, it looks like there's still a bit of training to do.